Hello and welcome back to the FSX Stout Canard Show. Today we will be reviewing the Eurofighter Typhoon by Alpha Sim. Our flight test will be conducted at Bali Air Base in England. Let's fly. Simulation paused. On pause. Alright, here we are in the cockpit of the Eurofighter Typhoon. Let's have a look around. Yes, yes, we have buttons that are labeled. This is our throttle. Very nice. Engine, comms, that, and your weapon system. Yeah, I'm not too sure how to manipulate that. Oops, sorry. I'm not too sure how really to manipulate your weapons. I mean, when you press, sorry, unlock, when you press this, fire, they just disappear. I don't know what happens with that. So let's not trouble that. The panels, they are repeated. Oh, sorry, this one has, eh, okay. Tada! We have autopilot up here. Buttons here, so you can manually start the aircraft. Let's go into. Let's check out our shift panels. Shift one. Shift two. Shift three. Okay, nothing for shift three. Shift four. Nothing for shift four. Shift five. GPS. Shift 6, nothing for shift 6, okay. You had HUD, HUD large and HUD, HUD small. But there is no HUD up here. One concern I have for the aircraft. Let's check out our 2D cockpit. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go back over here, radar. Okay, the radar does not work. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is what they were freaked out about when I press down here radar visible only in 2d screen 2d screen no radar so eh I guess maybe if I I don't know what I could do to get back get the radar all my years of flying this typhoon never got the radar uh yes might as well do my cockpit review now uh accuracy gets nine because this is very this is very nice but it's to me it's too light we have some amount of grunge here but this panel is the best cartoonish panel i've ever seen so accuracy gets nine working gauges gets 10 autopilot gets 10 and i will not show it in this review but i have done a a, a flight with the typhoon in autopilot i will put it up here I did a formation flying with the autopilot and it works very well. You can follow you can follow your nav line and you can do your ILS landing with the autopilot. And 2D cockpit also gets 10 because look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Let's check out the external model of the Eurofighter Typhoon. Alright, we're outside. Look at this. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Right. Uh, I'm pretty sure we, the real typhoon has more deflection. We have this and your flaps, I suppose, your rear control surfaces on your delta wing. They all move for elevator and you have your oh my gosh what are these called again cowl flaps or leading edge flaps these also move sorry my goodness aileron okay the full thing moves for aileron and also the full thing moves for flaps that is curious because there's a line here i would i thought that 
this line here would mean the outer edge of the wing the control surface would be your aileron but I guess maybe not let's look the whole thing moves oh and the canards move for aileron's too very nice very nice as I mentioned before I have had this Euro fighter for a little while I flew I did video with the Euro fighter in the past very nice um, no one thing to comment about is accuracy the real Eurofighter has a sensor here, kind of like a snow globe. I am not sure what it's for, but this one doesn't have it. So, oh, and though this section is called model accuracy, it doesn't seem to have anything related to that. So, uh, accurate control surfaces, 10 points, realistic animation, 10 points, realistic texture, I might as well give this 10 points too. There is some amount of grunge here, which is very realistic. Um, I'm not sure what exactly this is. This should be some sort of exhaust port, but no idea. Uh, let's check out the external views for this aircraft. Okay, we have dirty rear view, tail, front side, front, right side. Front down, front high. Oh, yeah, you guys didn't see that. This one's gonna be, we're gonna keep this one just in case we want to model for a thumbnail with it. Alright, let's zoom out. Let's take off and see how she flies. Bring up our speed. Hundred knots. Yeah. Right, we can do a right turn to get lined up again with the runway, and then we can do our flight maneuvers. Sink rate. Oh, we are blacking Hold out. Up. Don't black Hold out. Up. Oh, we've lined, we've sort of lined up with a different runway. Oh boy, that was a fail. Alright, let's perform some flight maneuvers. Maybe let's get closer. Slow down a bit, the speed break. Alright, Cobra maneuver in 3, 2, 1. Yep. She Cobras. But that, necess that isn't necessarily a good thing. Let's see if I could do a... No, not a cool bit. Oh, yeah. A cobra turn. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Let's perform another stall turn. Whoop, I've lost it, I've lost it, I've lost it, I've lost it, I've recovered it. Oh. Okay. Very capable aircraft. Oops. 
Okay, now this wouldn't be a review of the Eurofighter if we didn't do the Mach loop. So, we'll come back when we are just about to enter the Mach loop and we'll fly that. Sink rate. All right, here we are again. We are transitioning to the Mach loop. It's just, just ahead. I just want to say a few words about this aircraft. Oh my god, say a few words. That sounds as if I'm giving a eulogy. Anyway, um, this aircraft inspired the FSX Tout Canard show. Uh, let's see, when was it? It was ah, the 27th of December 17. I thought up of the FSX Tout Canard show and no, it wasn't the FSX Tout Canard show, it was just reviewing FSX aircraft. And I wanted to do a review of this aircraft, but my skills were very, very not good. Like, well not flying skills, my flying skills are still shit right now, but we're not talking about that. I'm talking about the editing and the, pre and the presentation of the reviews themselves. So I was like, you know what? This aircraft would do, would score highly on my very arbitrary scoring sheet. Let me review some other aircraft, and when I'm good enough, I'll review this aircraft. I'm still, I still am not good enough to review the Eurofighter, but whatever. All right, we are approaching the Mach loop, and we are way too high. Let's descend. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The Mach Loop. Uh, let's go right. Um, I think that was it. We have exited the Mach loop. I see an opening. Let's head back to Valley Air Base. All right, let's punch out of the canyon. Sorry, not of the aircraft. 
Let's head back in the cockpit. All right, we are just about close to ECUV. Let's do our ATC availability. Body approach. Yes, lovely, lovely British Aerospace Typhoon. Lovely. So for our manufacturer callout, 5 points for our is type, 10 points, sorry, another 5 points. So that means full 10 points for our ATC availability. Lovely, lovely. Oh, before we land, let's also do our checklist and references. All right, bring that up. Checklist. Yes. Alpha Sim, your fighter. Lovely. Fuel and payload. Lovely. <gasps> and we have pictures. Are you guys seeing this? We have picture. Oh, look at this picture and his cup and his color picture too. Lovely, lovely. Maximum cramp climb, tactical climb, super cruise, maximum range, main panel. Oh, look at this. Absolutely good. How to use the autopilot? Oh, radar. All right. Well, maybe I don't have the radar gauge or something went wrong, but my radar doesn't work. See references. <laughs> oh no, no references. But I, but me thinks, me thinks checklist and references are in here. Yeah, these count as references. I think five points for uh, checklist, zero points for our references. Alright, let's make our landing into Valley Airbase. This aircraft is my third favorite aircraft in Flight Sim. It would have been the second aircraft, my second favorite until I met the Gripen. Also made by Alpha Sim. The Gripen does not fly better than this, but somehow looking at it, it's it's much nicer to look at. Look at this thing. It's kind of weird. And from the side, it somewhat looks like an F-16 clone. Yeah. I mean, I've just about had it with these F-16 clones. Yep, very much like an F-16. Oops, I forgot to model for our thumbnail. I don't even know where I'm going to land. Let's land here on this runway. Yeah. Airplane. Oh. No, I wouldn't contact you. Haha. <laughs> 
All right. Uh, what's her speed? Sink rate. Too low to rain. One notch of flaps. Yep, there's her runway. Dump full flaps. Bring down the gear. center line too but I make it on the center line no I know what view I want to use fly by oh beautiful ear break and here is a surprise no one expected uh, Parachute and reverse thrust. Not sure how accurate the reverse thrust is, but parachute was a nice addition. Whoop whoop. <laughs> ah, all right. Let's go to our UI usability. This was fun. Aircraft, select aircraft. All right. Here we have it. The Alpha Typhoon. It annoys me when Alpha Sim does it. It's, check this out. This is your fighter typhoon, British Airspace your fighter typhoon, but it's called Alpha. Like, please don't do this. Alpha. No. Come on. Okay. Uh, two points for thumbnail. Zero points for aircraft manufacturer. Publisher. Alpha Sim. Okay. Two points for publisher. And ooh, this is a twin engine jet. No, that is not jet. Twin engine jet. It's not here. Legacy. Also not here. What the hell? Oh, I know this is fighter bomber. Yep, you're a fighter typhoon. All right. Uh, before I go on to the details, I just want to complain about something. Oh, I could complain and show you the details. This is the default Eurofighter Typhoon that you get. As soon as you you go into... Oops, sorry. You go into... Okay. You main menu. You, you open Flight Sim. You click on Select Aircraft. You select this. Boom. Okay, we have details. Two points for details. Very nice. Anyway, we have our bombs and er, bombs and tanks, and yeah, I don't want that. I want a clean version, but there aren't any clean versions, any single seat clean versions. Your single seat, your clean version. This is a two seat clean version here. See, looks kind of weird. But anyway, I must say I appreciate having Alpha Sim just make it one aircraft like this instead of having multiple different aircrafts. Look at this. All of these are the same aircraft, but these are just different textures. This. I would get rid of this, make 29 just because of this. Alright, let's go to the final score for the Eurofighter Typhoon by Alpha Sim. And that was the review of the Eurofighter Typhoon by Alpha Sim. I tried my best not to show favoritism for this aircraft because it was my favorite. One of, it is one of my favorites. But if you guys 
notice any discrepancies, any favoritism, let me know in the comments down below. Um, as always, links to the aircraft will be in the description. Tell me guys what you think about the video, the review, everything in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.